All my life I've always thought I'm from Orange County in California, but I'm not. My ancestors are from Africa. <laughs> A lot of times, just as African Americans, we don't have that connection of where we're from. Families were changed as a result of the process of Africans being sent to the Americas. And that disconnection with family is what we are striving to reconnect with in coming back to Africa. I was a little fearful because I didn't want to see the things that they had to go through because I know that I get very emotional about things that happen to other people that just weren't right. I don't want to go in there. No. I don't want to be here. And in order to know where you're going, you got to know where you came from. <laughs> I don't want to see the things that they went through. I'm just scared of it. We're going to do this and we're going to do it together. To be on the same ground that they were on is always just a challenge. To know that perhaps one of my ancestors was there. The women had to sleep, urinate, defecate, menstruate right here. No sanitary pads. And from time to time, European soldiers came in here for some of the women, took them out there, washed them up, and abused these women sexually. You gotta wonder, what was it like in there? Like, were they trying to uplift each other, trying to console each other? How do you deal with that? It's a rich, rich history, and it's a proud history. You have to take it in. That way, when you go back home, you know my ancestors are counting on me to hold myself up a certain way. Yes, it was a sad thing, but at the same time, it should give you some kind of power. Like, I'm in this room and people made it. You can come out of it because look at what these people had to go through. In the castle we have that door known as the door of no return. If you walk out of it, you never come back. But that will not happen to us. When we go out of that door, we are going to come back. <laughs> I scared you, Mel, right? <laughs> she was scared. At the back of the door, it says door of return. That was to tell every single African that was taken away that their children can today return to Africa and find their roots. And on the wall there is this plaque which says Aquaba. That means welcome. Chloe, this message goes to you. Every African that ended up in this castle, survived this castle, made it to the Americas. I call them the strongest. That makes me very happy. You came out of that stock. You are as strong as they were. So don't let anything stop you, all right? I just think it's amazing about how I get to do this. <laughs> <laughs>